Hey, what's up, people? It's Maddie D here from the Black, helping you achieve emotional, financial, and physical well-being, and your coach to help you get over your emotional crap from your parents here. So, this is a fitness tip video about, you know, again, um, one way, one thing I believe is crucial to, you know, if you wanna, you wanna have, let me speak in English, <laughs> if you wanna know how to get in the best shape, you know, and this is not gonna be a specific thing on do this diet, do this work regimen, go to the gym, da da da. I mean, those things are important, they're needed. The thing about success that I've learned and what makes sense is that it really, most of it, the vast majority of it, and it's, it's still hard to kind of grasp and conceive or just accept, is that a lot of it is just, it's all in here, who you are as a being. That's where it emanates from. And the thing I can personally say that when it comes to getting in shape, I used to be bigger. If you think, you've, you've seen my videos in the past, I used to be a little bit, a little bit chubbier in the face. But um, I didn't like that. I didn't like. I didn't think I was, um, you know, that attractive looking. I thought I was kind of fat because I'm a person who, who's always been, who's always like to keep active, work out a lot. And my parents, my parents still work out to this day. They worked out when me and my sister were growing up. So and try to get healthy. So we were brought up to live a healthy, active lifestyle. So I did cross country in high school, track, both indoor, outdoor, from Marine Corps and stuff, and gained weight. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, to me, the the thought, the fear, the the notion of like gaining weight, I was like, this is not good. This is not good. It's not good. This is bad. It's horrible. This is this is, this is this is this is wrong. This makes me look like I don't know, judgment. The whole point of this is the judgment that the judge that I had on myself of losing, of gaining weight, wasn't something that was going to serve me. And I'll say this because if you're trying to, let me say, not lose weight, it's your least weight. And here's what I mean by that if you're trying to lose weight, your subconscious mind takes everything as absolute, as literal. So if you're going to lose something, your subconscious mind doesn't want to lose stuff, it wants to hold on to things. So if you lose weight, guess what you're going to do subconsciously? subconsciously. Your subconscious mind is going to be like, shit, you're losing weight. We got to find it and get it back. Which is why, one reason I believe, if you look at people, they go through the, the yo-yo, these yo-yo diets, where they lose weight, they gain it back, lose weight, gain it back, which is not healthy for your body at all. It's not. Because you're, you're, you're consciously trying to lose them. So you lose something. You're kind of trying to lose something that you, yeah, your subconscious mind is, is going to get you to find. It's not good. So what you want to say is this, and this is an affirmation. You want to say, you want to release weight, release it. Because what you're trying to do is this. The whole point is that if you have judgments against yourself, if you're not in shape you want to be, if you're overweight, you have to remove the judgment that being overweight means you are less than human, which means that it's a terrible thing, which means that you suck. Yes, is being overweight not, not, the, best thing for the, not the best thing for the body? And that's true, it's not. But the point is what we do as humans, we take it and go, oh shit, I'm overweight. This is not good, it's, it's terrible. I'm, I'm horrible, I'm, I'm not that attractive looking. Like, we start beating yourself up. And we're trained to do that, thinking that if we have all this negative judgment against us in losing weight or, or whatever situation that we're trying to improve, we believe that we believe that will motivate us to, to go farther. And I'm telling you right now, that shit doesn't work. When you're, when you're hating your situation or where you're at, it just keeps you because your focus is on what you don't want, what you don't like, what you don't want to create anymore. So therefore, you keep creating it, and you think, "Oh, if I focus on that, it'll motivate me to do to do something better." But then you're wondering why you're always getting the same shit because you're focusing consciously, and now it's a habit now subconsciously on what you don't what, what you don't want. So one thing to help you with that is to write down, take a sheet of paper, write down all the negative judgments, all the mean things you think about yourself about being overweight or not being in best shape. What does that mean to you? Be real with yourself. If you cry, cry. That's a good thing. Let it out. Write it all down. Look at that shit and go, is this really true? Does, you, does, does this really define me? Is this really who I am? Question it. Fold three times, burn it. No, I'm sorry. Rip it up, burn it, or flush it on the toilet to remove the judgment. And then start writing new things about yourself and start saying, you know what? And be honest, say, yes, I do have excess weight that no longer serves me anymore. I'm going to release it. I'm still a great person. I'm still loved. I'm still perfect, whole, everything else.
Start telling yourself that. Look at the mirror and say, and start saying, start saying um, self-love affirmations. I say them. I say I love myself, approve myself. I'm a great husband, fiance, father, boyfriend, all that stuff. I say that shit because it's true. How you talk to yourself is so important. You don't realize it. So you're trying to release weight, get in shape. Change the way you look at yourself. Change the way you talk to yourself. And remove the judgment. And realize, look, I don't care if you are 300 pounds and you're like, I got to fucking lose this shit. And, you know, you have trouble walking. If you continue to think that you are a horrible, fat, piece of disgusting shit because you're overweight and you're trying to release weight, it ain't going to go well for it. It's going to be difficult. If you do lose it, it's a comeback because you're fighting yourself. Because you're not liking who you are. I remember doing this when I was running. Now, am I skinnier as that? As I'm, I've been... I've lost some weight. I'm sorry, lost. I've released a lot of weight, but the problem is, even though I did it, it was coming at the cost of my body, because my right knee was having so many problems. So I finally realized that I had more work to do with my mother. Um, I started doing breathing exercises. Another thing, I changed my diet. Started eating more vegetables in there, and my knee healed. And I started talking myself differently, in more way in a way that's positive that serves me. Okay, and when you Start eating things that are more alkaline. You remove the judgment against yourself and start giving yourself love. Your body thrives and needs love. The universe is love. God's love. Whichever, whichever, whichever thing that you want you want to um, subscribe to is that your body needs that. Your mind needs that. Your whole being needs that. That I want to say positive, but that love, that good energy, that 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 causes the body to expand and not disintegrate. Okay, hope that makes sense. You want to give yourself food, thoughts, and energy to help expand more of who you truly are than doing things and thinking things and eating stuff that disintegrates you because this is where the body, you know, breaks down. It's how you get sick. You know, if you're always sad a lot and doing depressed, like all these things factor into you, you know, um, trying to get in shape and you know, trying to release weight and stuff. Like, if you want to get in great shape as fast as you can, it starts up in here, in who you are, how you feel about yourself. Like I said, I don't give a shit if you are 300 pounds of weight. You look at the mirror and say, you know what? I'm a badass. I'm kicking butt. I started a journey. I'm doing better than most people ever do. And start telling yourself this shit every day. And you will see this thing eventually, eventually, the, the physical body, you know, is the last thing to catch up. But eventually, if you maintain a good attitude, you feel you do the best you can to feel good every day. You read, you read inspirational stuff. You start really listening to audios and things. You'll get in shape quicker than you think. You need that positive, good, energetic reinforcement. Start loving yourself, man. Because you do that shit, people will fucking see it. They'll see it. They won't, they may, they, they obviously, obviously they won't see you lose weight, you know, overnight, but they'll notice a difference in you. They won't know what it is. Why? Because it's an energetic difference. You can't see it, but you can sense it. They'll sense that shit and you'll be like, damn, it may take some time, but if you start to start the momentum now, you'll, the, the weight will come off because you're releasing it. What you're saying is this, this no longer serves me anymore. Thank you for, for what you've done. But I no longer need you just leave and it'll fall off. It'll come off gradually with time. It could be faster, depending on what you do. I don't know who you are, but it's possible. So, end of the day, try to be the best shape ever. You know, be good to yourself. Be good to who you are. Love yourself who you are. And know that just because you have more weight than you like, it doesn't make you less a person. It doesn't mean you suck. It doesn't mean you're horrible. It doesn't make you worse than me. We're equal. I still love you regardless. That's who you are, and you're still a badass in my eyes. Because if you weren't truly badass, you wouldn't take on the journey of of trying to improve the quality of your life. You wouldn't do it. You'd be like, no, I saw you wouldn't do that. And keep trying. Especially some of you watch it, some of you may be trying to lose weight for years. Years. You know, and I think it comes down to is like, how are you treating yourself? Seriously. Are you talking to yourself like like I'm also amazing and great, you know. I'm I'm doing the best I can here. Or you have people like I can't lose weight, I can't lose weight. This sucks. I'm like, what the fuck's wrong with me? I got all these issues. Blah blah blah. That type of focus is what keeps you where you're at. Now there's something. Now am I gonna know the exact issue? No, but I'm willing to bet that if you start from a different perspective of looking at how you see yourself and how you're talking yourself, how you feel about yourself, that's gonna be a huge defining factor in this weight loss journey. 
telling you, it can happen for you. Period of story. So, hope this helps. If you look at some coaching on this and parent issues that you know that I talk about, hey, my newsletter is the link for the newsletter is below. Sign up for that and um, schedule a session here with one free session. So again, like the video, comment, let me know, subscribe, and if you got some value from this, if you feel like someone else will get some value, please share. Let's help the world. Love ya. Get in the black. Peace.